Hi, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, this is where I talk about coding and learning how to code. And if you're coming back, welcome back. I am honored that you've returned. So, it's been about two weeks since my last video. I've got two projects to show, but before we do that, I wanna get some housekeeping out of the way. Um, first of all, I have this script, so just so you know, that's what I'm looking at. Second of all, <laughs> if you've been here before, you might have noticed that I have a nice camera set up now. And truthfully, I had this capability this entire time, but I've just now figured out the files, so that's fun, right? Um, second of all, I did start a Twitch stream uh, over these last two weeks. It's nothing special, but if you do want to see me code live for some reason, then it's there for you. Uh, as always, it is Trash Puppy without the A, and I think I'll have a link on my channel. I'm not allowed to put links in my video description, unfortunately, but it'll be somewhere on my channel, so you can come check it out. All right, let's get to the coding. Let's get to the nitty gritty here. So over the last two weeks, the two projects that I did were for the Odin project were the sign up form and the admin dashboard. And both of these focus on intermediate HTML and CSS skills. So in the JavaScript path, that's the, once you choose your path, that's the first thing on the JavaScript path that you go through. I don't know what the Ruby path looks like. I know they do have it in there somewhere, but I don't think it's at the beginning. So let's bring it over to OBS and I'll show you what I've been doing. All right, so let me turn this. Here we are at my portfolio once again. We're gonna start with the first project, which was this sign-up form. So for the sign-up form, I spent about eight hours on this, and I think I learned a lot. I'm happy with how it looks, and I think I, I, think I accomplished what it was meant for. So for the Odin project, they usually give you a little JPEG PNG of what they want from your projects or they give you like something to go off of. So this is what they give you for the sign up form. You don't have to follow it to a T. Some people do, but I personally like to spice it up a little bit. So this is what you're going for. You can't interact with this because it's just a picture. Um, but yeah, this is what I came up with. So the idea of this project is to practice HTML form styling because it's kind of finicky and difficult. Um, and you also, this is the first project where you get into responsiveness using Flexbox. Some, someone's truck just made a noise out there. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, I've got all the things you need for your form. I got name, email, phone number, password, and if you shrink this down, well, not to that, but like if you're seeing this on an iPad, uh, you can see that I've made it so that it stacks, so it's responsive on, any, on most screens. Here's the phone version. I had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I've been waiting to learn responsiveness because it's been scaring me <laughs> and I'm excited that I get to learn it and start practicing it early. Um, so this responsiveness is really all just Flexbox and it's the first time also that I started using Clamp, which is for people who don't know, Clamp is like, it's a sizing mechanism where you take an object, you put a clamp on it and basically it's like, three numbers. The first one is the smallest it, you want it to go down to. The middle is your ideal size. And the last number is the largest that you want it to go up to. Sorry if you can hear the truck out there. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with the responsiveness. I'm pretty happy with the form and how it looks aesthetically. As far as functionality, um, the most interesting part of this form was the password. So let me just so I can show you what I did with the password because I have to put in all the stuff in order to use it. Let me fill these in real quick. You don't need the phone number. So for the password, in a password form field, it actually has to have some rules. 
So mine is like, it has to be 10 characters long. It can only be, you know, uppercase, lowercase letters, numbers, some punctuation. And I wrote a tiny bit of JavaScript to make it so that if your passwords don't match, you can't submit your form. So I'll show you how that works really quick. Um, I'm just going to put 10 ones in this one and I got to count them out. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then over here, we'll just do twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so if you try to submit this, it's not going to work. And you get a little warning box. Now, the way I made that work is a little hacky. Uh, basically, <laughs> in the JavaScript, if these two strings don't match, I turn this button into a regular button, a regular type button. And not and so it's not a submit button anymore which means your form will not submit and I don't know if that's how it's actually done I kind of doubt it but this is how I made mine work so what happens if you get your password right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten boom it submits beautiful I was so friggin happy when I got that to work and overall I think my product is pretty cohesive and I'm pretty happy about it. I'm not saying it's like I'm some master HTML form styler, but I'm pretty happy with this. And that was probably the high of my two weeks. So let's go to my low of the two weeks and that would be the dashboard project. <laughs> so when the, the form took me eight hours, like I said, this dashboard project took me 22 hours. And if you want to see a handful of hours of that struggle, it should still be on Twitch. <laughs> but let me show you the actual um, blueprints that they give you. So pretty uh, standard. The, the basic focus of this one was CSS grid and responsiveness. Now they're starting with these projects to really make you think about responsiveness and how you're going to get it done. But the big thing was grid. So uh, when I first started this, I actually got it to like a working product within the first eight hours, but it wasn't really responsive. I think it was responsive to like an iPad size. And so after getting it done, I made a new branch and I decided to make it responsive. And I was really going to put some work into it because I figured if this is supposed to showcase my HTML and CSS intermediate skills, then I better freaking bring them out, you know? Ugh, what a freaking mistake. <laughs> it was rough getting this to be responsive, and I'm not entirely happy with the end product as far as responsiveness. The end product itself, I think, looks pretty good. I think it's cohesive. I think it makes sense. Probably not in the color scheme that most people would want. But I'm happy with that. But once you start shrinking it to other resolutions, ugh, then I'm not happy. <laughs> so let's let's look at it. So I tried to do a responsiveness starting at the resolution of an iPad. And to do this, I actually used a media query, which I technically haven't learned in the Odin project yet. But I really wanted to make this responsive, so I just copied how this one girl was doing a media query. I didn't copy hers, but I copied how she wrote it. So don't ask me about media queries. I don't really know how they work. I just got it to work for the iPad. So starting at the resolution of an iPad, 810 width, like you can see up here. This is what it does. All my blocks just stack up. And I essentially just have a grid and I reassign the grid blocks to the content. So it works, it's responsive, I got all my stuff there, but it just doesn't look good. And like, look, this is, I try to do the Galaxy Note 412 and the iPad. And when you get to the Galaxy Note, like this is really looking bad down here and I hate it, but I did get it responsive. The problem is if we go back to my sign up form and we look at the responsiveness, you can see that in the in the phone size, you you've got scroll, right? This is not the size of a phone screen. It scrolls past that. So if it, if you were on your phone, you'd be doing this, right? 
on here with the grid, this does not scroll. I don't understand how to make a grid scroll. I know you have to like add rows dynamically, but I could not for the life of me figure out how to do that. So I had to shove everything into a very small space and that makes me really mad, but I just, I have to let it go. I got to trust the process. I'm sure there's going to be more on responsiveness in the Odin project. I'm probably just jumping the gun, probably flying a little close to the sun <laughs> and I just got to let it go. So there's a couple other cool things about this, um, you know. Really, there's only one other cool thing about this, and that's the dark mode. So, like always, I added a tiny bit of JavaScript, and that was to try and fiddle around with dark mode, which we haven't, well, we sort of learned it in the Odin project, but let me just show you. So you click on this little moon up here, and boom, dark mode. Now, I won't say that I know anything about dark mode color palettes, and I will not say that this is pleasing to the eye, but it is dark mode. And I got a little sun, changes to a moon, I go back and forth, and it's my favorite part of this. I had so much fun doing the JavaScript. Um, yeah, so that's essentially it. Uh, as far as the parts, there's like a little form here, a little search bar that submits. You got your account, you got, you know, I came up with some little logo all these little parts I tried really hard like these are kind of on first glance it wouldn't look like it but these are kind of detailed uh, when you float over this it tells you it's home that's the first time I've used that it's called a title um, they bounce when you when you float over them but they also give you a little bit of feedback when you click them and yeah so this was fun for the most part till I got to the grid scrolling. Um, and I think, I think it looks all right. So yeah, so those were my two projects. I'll bring it back over here. Those were my two projects. I learned a lot about grid and responsiveness. And even though I'm not entirely happy with the dashboard, I think it was really good practice and it, definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone. There were, there was a time where um, my boyfriend was playing video games next to me and I just got up and laid face down on the floor for like five minutes because I could not cope with how frustrated I was <laughs> with the grid. But we got through it, we got a finished product and I'm excited to put HTML and CSS away for a second and get on with the rest of the JavaScript path. So um, yeah. I'll be back hopefully in two weeks with some more projects. It might be a little longer because I'm going to be traveling a little bit. Um, but I'll try to get back. I'll try to get another video out there as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you again soon. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>